All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Totally Aggro Battle Simulator. So if you look in the lower right, there's no more Flamingo, but don't worry. Even though it's not a secret unit yet, or maybe ever in the game, we're going to find the new secret units for the first person control update. So we're on the map Medieval 1. And the medieval maps have often been a really, really good source of secret units. A lot of really interesting medieval secret units. What is that? As we survey the map, appears a barrel with a hole in it, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say that's probably a jester unit, because it looks like a jester unit. It was teased over by Will on uh, the Twitters, and he said this was the most annoying unit in the game. So, now that we've unlocked it, let's see where he falls. $300? Okay, so now we have a, a Jester versus a Teacher, which should be an interesting battle, because these two units both have a lot of dodging. Oh my god! Someone gave this man, like, Wolverine-like claws, which is good for the unit editor, because maybe now we can make Wolverine in Totally Aggro Battle Simulator? <laughs> All right, who dodges who, who fights? Was that a dodge or was that a hit? Oh, it looks like he just kicked him up in the air. Oh my God, look at that. He's got blades on his foot. This is not your grandfather's jester in tabs 2.0 previews. This jester has multiple blades. It looks like he was carrying a sword, but he's not, is he? That was just the uh, teacher's sword falling on him. Okay, I still think the teacher reminds me of like the Bravosi water dancers, AKA their sword fighting style from Game of Thrones. Oh, who was happy with that ending? Honestly, just in the comments, don't say what happened, but are you happy or are you not happy with how Game of Thrones ended if you watch it? If you don't, say something funny like, Bananas taste fuzzy. All right, so now we're on the Medieval 2 map, and I always want to look at the top of the castle to see if there's anything here. You know it'd be kind of cool around holidays if they, like, spruced up this. I could imagine this being turned into a Christmas tree. I don't know how I just thought of that, but it would be interesting. Another thing is, is there are so many chickens around, and it doesn't look like any of them are the secret unit. You know, my intelligence... Oh, is this one green? No, it's just the hues around him. The intelligence states that it's on this map, though. What is that? Look very closely between these trees. There was a man who's impaled through his chest cavities. Oh, my God. Is that... Is that... Who is that? Oh, it's Vlad the Impaler. It, the unit didn't look like Vlad, but now that you see the big tree stump, in hindsight, everything seems to make sense when it's obvious. All right, so where does Vlad stand? Okay, $200. Here he is. $1,000. He's about the cost of a cheerleader. He's less than the majority of the big units, so I wouldn't consider him a super unit per se. Let's see good old Vlad versus good old Vlad. Oh, by the way, I can take control of Vlad here. So he's got a giant tree. He's like a mini giant. He's got the big hitting ability. Oh, he's he's blocking. See, how does that work? Is he blocking his attack or is he still is the blue guy able to still take damage from Red Vlad's? <laughs> he stole it. Hey Red, I like your big tree stump spear. I'd uh I think I'm gonna take it as mine. By the way, is this the best mustache in Totally Aqua Battle Simulator right now? I dare say it is. All right, Vlad, can you take out the king? One of the greatest warriors in Totally Agate Battle Simulator. And he's got the be the magical and mythical Zweihanda. So if Vlad can take him out, then I think we could learn that Vlad's probably going to be a melee specialist. I, it's kind of hard to figure out the classifications, right? Because some units are melee specialists. In this case, he's not a hero specialist. All right, $1,000 of Vlad, a.k.a. one Impaler, and ten Squires, uh, a.k.a. $1,000 of the Medievals. Oh my god, oh, I thought that was like two units. He just killed five at the same time. Okay, he's a crowd control unit. It's safe to say, look at this. So if we apply one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, I'm good at math. So double... Vlad's price in Squires. This will be the test to determine what kind of unit is he. It looks like he was dragging this guy around. You know, like when your grandpa like put his finger under your chin, be like, "Listen here, Sonny, 
When I was your age, we used P-51s to fuel our tractors in the fields and corn. And you're like, what are you, granddad, you taking your pills today? Needless to say, I think it's clear that he is good at taking out some, but he's gonna have his limitations. He's not a super unit. So I heard that there was a Viking secret unit, and this map always kind of reminded me of like the gates of uh, Mordor, uh, and also a little bit of Game of Thrones, and now I'm eternally saddened by the ending. Uh, I wonder, is it this? It's a pile of sticks. We always have to do this. You need to check this Vihander every patch. At some point, this must lead to some kind of hero. It just makes sense. And is this like Viking Mos? What is that? What is that supposed to mean? Why? There's a sword. This has a meaning. Anything that's strewn across the ground will probably become, you know, a unit. What's over here? A unit at some point. So this is like some weird, it, it almost reminds me of like a rocket ship pod that like crashed to earth, but like Viking medieval style. So let's take a peek inside. Aha! What is that? It's a furry hat. Maybe it's a seal clubber. No, I was totally wrong. Whatever an Ulra is. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't speak freaky deaky Swedish. So here's Vlad. Where does he fall in the price point? Ulra, 1250, what? His axe looks like Thanos' like twin sword, which was really derpy, by the way. Oh my. So taking a quick look at the Ural, is he a melee guy? He's got these spinning axe looking things. Does he throw them like a boomerang? Santa Claus, is that you? All right, Ulr. What do you got with your double L's and your double battle axes, which looks like you're either gonna spin them around like a mace spinner, or you're gonna throw them, or you're just gonna use them Okay, there we go. That answers the age-old question that we just determined. Oh! What? It's got explosive abilities? It It's almost like an ex- Oh, it's instant. It's an instant freeze. Okay. Oh, and he's got a rather fast fire rate, it seems. Well, I guess he did have two. So, he's only taken out two- one unit so far. Oh! <laughs> Direct hit! Oh! That one froze two of them, so it is- it is AoE, area of effect, according to my, uh, you know, little bit of time watching the World of Warcraft classic beta over on the- on the- the streamings. Now, what's going on here? Let's see. He can fire relatively fast. Now, I put $1,200 of Squires in one Ulm, or Ulr, rather, and he did win. He did win. So let's put a bunch of them in. All right, the five greatest axe throwers in all of Norway, Sweden, and the land of the Danes. The Scandinavian countries. What are their- are, would, is Finland considered Scandinavian or is it considered like more Russian? You know, would they have Ullers or would they have Vlad the Impalers? And like, well, technically that's the Romanians. I don't know. I guess I lumped the Romanians into the Russians and that's probably not a good idea. But it's what we did. And these guys are amazing, so I would say they're crowd control units right now. And while we found the best- Oh! Great Scott, it's a Cyclops! I'm, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that for me, personal collection. I was just commenting on how they have the best beards in the game, because we just saw the best mustaches with Vlad, so clearly the facial hair of the units is getting better the more secret units we get. Now, is this guy still a Cyclops? We- we just witnessed a very rare event. Oh my gosh. A lot of times you miss these things. Alright, so we've got $6,250 in Ur. And then we've got about $6,000 in Kings. So, now we're gonna see if these Urls are, uh, hero specialists. I would guess that they're actually, uh, crowd control. But I guess with their freezing ability, they're probably very versatile. They're doing significant damage, and look at this poor man. You, King, are not looking like you're having a good day after meeting the Ulrs. The axes are sticking in them, but this is kind of cool because now some of the weapons have explosive ability. This might be an OP unit. I really wonder. But remember, guys, every unit, I believe every unit, Except for some modded units have its have their counters right their natural counters. It's like paper beats rock rock beats scissors Dynamite beats everything you know the dynamiters the modded units 
But here we have paper being the archers and the rocks being the urus. Although maybe not, because they have. Oh my god! I, I we found the dynamite. Okay, I thought it was a balanced unit. It's not. It's not a balanced unit, guys. Baron, 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 what happens? I know you guys are thinking this, so let's show it off. What happens when the cheerleaders support this guy? And he goes up against some pretty good, you know, units that are both high health and high damage. And there's a ton of them. Oh my god, he's just rolling through this. He's literally making a wall of ice. We found the new Night King. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Ur. And I, I just like to pronounce it like that. I don't speak I don't speak Dutch. I don't speak Swedish. Did you just what where did he go? Did he ice himself? He iced himself! <laughs> now it seems to make sense that after talking to the great stone big boy. Who's probably had a lot of good cheeseburgers, haven't you? Excuse me, big boy, where? Where's the best cheeseburger in the world? Is it Five Guys? Is it Shake Shack? Is it In N Out? Where is it? Seems to make sense that there would be a secret unit on this map. So let's let's look for a little bit. But could it be under the sea? Down where it's wetter? Down where it's better? Take it from a talking crab? What if we had crab people units in tabs? What about that? Oh! Haha! -ha! A foot! Or is that a duck? It is the Taekwondo unit. So a lot of times I've noticed secret units are units that just didn't make the cut for what would be a balanced and thematic faction list. Here, the Taekwondo used to be the melee units. They used to be the melee units for what was known as the old Asian faction on old tabs. Yes, we are now in, we should we should do time like they do like AT and BT before tabs and in the year of our tabs. This is in the year of our tabs, $400? All right, so they're called Taekwondo and we've got uh, a chicken, in, it's, it's not a kimono, right? <laughs> That's some serious kicking ability. That man has gone airborne. We've seen units flying, but I'd say, oh my God, this is incredible. What is the kinetic force? The impact at which these these lady kickers, that, that was pretty fast. All right, let's do this in real time and see just how fast it's done. We're holding here. I want to see if she's going to punt anybody into the pit of doom. That'd be awesome. Hold on. I know I said real time, but look, look at this. This is like, the dude in, in space balls, you know, that was like imitating Darth Vader and he had a giant helmet. All right, so there was only four units. We found all four. Now let's see how they do in bigger field battles. And then we're going to have all of them fight each other, one of each, on each side to see who is the best. Oh my god. Well, that they're not crowd control. Maybe they're melee specialists. So, they have the same price as the Chieftain, which is also a melee specialist. So, ho 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 ho! We have a new melee specialist in town, guys, and it is the Taekwondo Kicker Lady. This is your cheap unit. If you're, if you're in the campaign and you're having trouble and you need something to take out a more expensive, better unit, use the Taekwondo. All right, so who's gonna win? One of each unit versus one of each unit. My guess is whichever of these axe throwers freezes the other one. Wait. What if they both freeze each other? Oh, one went for the Vlad and the other one did not. Uh, so we know who's gonna win this one. That was just a foolish mistake. Although he is still alive. Maybe... I mean, I don't really know. There's a lot more red units up right now. Uh, yeah, he's got- he's- he's gone. That's too many freezing axes going at him in Vlad the Impaler is getting impaled. Look at how mad he is! I've never seen a more angry face in taps! We now have, I believe it's 16 secret units in Totally Agate Battle Simulator. Let's check them all out right here. So we've got Artemis, we've got the Spinner here, this one taking a few of Artemis' arrows. The Ice Giant, the New Taekwondo, the Tree Giant, the Executioner, the Samurai Giant, the Sensei, or I like to call it Shredder from like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We've got the Teacher, we've got the Shogun, 
We've got the Dragon Barrow, the new Ulr, the new Vlad the Impaler, and then we've got Cheerleader. So, four new units adding to the 12 previously, 16 new, or 16 total secret units and totally Aga Battle Simulator. That's what happens when an Ice Giant, or rather an Ice Dragon, gets frozen. Oh my gosh, what about the power of ice, right? Look at Vlad's digging. I really think that the new OP unit right now are the Ooms. Like, uh, they, they were able to take out equal numbers of archers. And yeah, uh, do we have two Artemises left alive? The Artemises are just picking apart everybody. They must have made it a ladies' agreement not to attack each other till like, the end. Which they're kind of like trading salvos, like, No! You're stupid! And they're fighting. Tree Giants are awesome. I love them. It looks like Blue's gonna warn away with this one. So let's go ahead, best out of three, who wins? All right, the dragon wheelbarrows collide into each other. Tree giants fight. Ice giants are giving each other a hug while they're getting spittooned with arrows. And it's really not a very enjoyable thing at all for them, is it? But you know what? They're doing what they can. They're fighting it to the bitter end. Come on, boys. Who's the greatest unit? I still think Artemis is the best. Oh my god, look at that. We launched a unit. Did he make it out of the map? You know what would be fun? If we made this like a field goal, and if you kicked a unit through it, it was like some secret that was like, Ta-da! You want a field goal. Okay, so that's an executioner flying off to the islands beyond. He's like, you know what? I'm going to Mykonos, bro. It's time to party it up, dude. Okay. Artemis is gonna fire a few arrows. Tree Giant's absorbing some hits. Does he get Artemis? No. Too many arrows. Who's left alive? A cheerleader. Haha. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is the locations of all four of the new units. In Totally Aga Battle Simulator, so let's check the next update. What is next on the roadmap? New features, battle and campaign creator, which... And we're gonna be able to share them with others. Now, will this be available on the Steam Workshop? If so, when you guys make them, go ahead and be like, oh, tag Baron in it. You know, say, Baron, play this. Because I'm gonna make a series where we do that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Love you all. You know, you guys really have given me the best job ever, and I cannot thank you enough. We'll talk more about that in an upcoming video. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.